Hello everyone, it's me Crystal and welcome back to another Crystal's Food Reviews and Other Things. Today, my other thing is a person. Tammy. My cousin Tammy. And today we're at Fat Moe's. Fat Moe's, baby. And we didn't, we're not calling the guy fat. That's the name of it. Yeah. But if he was fat, I probably would call him. I would say, hey, because if I knew two Moe's and one was skinny and one was fat, and, you, and I'd say, hey, let's go over to Moe's house. you say, which one? Which I go, one? fat. Fat Mo. And I know. Yeah. Immediately. It's a larger one. But this place is called Fat Mo's. It's a burger place. It looks good. But very old timey. So you know it's going to be good. Yeah. Not a lot of. What's that called? Rigor Marole. It, it don't look like a, pay, a place that changes oil, their oils regularly. And that's the best type of place, flavor wise. Absolutely. <laughs> they do have a banana split for $15. I Woo! Didn't see that on the. Must have a lot of bananas in it. A lot. Exotic bananas. Ex bananas from other countries or something. They fly them in or some shit. I'm going to get me a... I want to try a burger. Obviously, we have to. And I'm going to get me a shake. That's a good idea. Malt. It says, the biggest burgers in town. Whoa. Okay. I'm just going to get me... Oh, it comes with a... Okay, let's see here. We're going, I'm going to get number three. It comes with a burger, half pound, fries, and a 32-ounce drink. That's, that's good. what I'm that's a good si That's a good, that's good that's size. That's large. That's a large. Yeah, good. 32 ounces. Good. It'd be better if it was Coke, but... Yeah, they don't have Coke products. That's always a red flag for me. Well, I know you don't like Pepsi. And every place needs to carry Pepsi because you like... Cause Coke, because you like it. But they don't. It says Fat Moe's Super Deluxe Burger. Over 27 ounces. That's a whole package of meat. That's a whole package of ground beef. Like a pound? Yeah. How you doing? Hey. Are you Mo? You look like? No, I was about to say, you don't look fat to me. I'm New York. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, we order with you? Yeah, go ahead. Give me one of those number threes. Add cheese. Everything. Yeah, put everything on there. Season fries. Yeah, let's do it. Ready? Pepsi. Okay. And could you throw in a small chocolate malt for me? Okay. I'll do another number three. Cheese. With cheese. Everything. And everything. With a diet Pepsi. Small chocolate chip shake. Yes. And a small chocolate chip shake. Fries with this? Yeah. Season? Season fries? Yeah. And another chocolate? Uh, chocolate chip. Okay. And then throw in some of those cheese sticks. Okay. That's and, what, it. and what else? Is that it? That, that's good for me. That'll do me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so that is not Mo. Did he say, do I look like Mo? You should have saw. I literally go, are you Mo? And he literally goes. <laughs> I wonder how many times a day somebody asked him if he's Mo. I bet every car. <laughs> I bet every car asks him if he's Mo. I bet. He needs a t-shirt that says, I'm not Mo. Right. Right. Every worker in there needs a t-shirt that says, I'm not Mo. And who is Mo? Where is he? How are you going to have an establishment with your name on it and not be there? Ooh, it says they got roast beef sandwiches too. We got to come back. It says roast beef, chicken, and cat. Uh, look underneath it. Yes. They tricked you. <laughs> they tricked me. My heart pounded a little bit there. I said, damn, they're serving cat? It says cat. And then it's covered, the fish part's covered up by Christmas lights. I just saw, Crystal, you got, your hat for you is out of frame. Well, I better move over. You got to get over. Oh, man. I'm hungry. I love men, and I'm not a lesbian, but at this point, I need a pussy. <laughs> That's, That's how, how hungry yeah, you are? Yeah. Lord. Just to get a little bit of flavor on my tongue. <laughs> flavor. Yeah. You get some flavor. That's all. That's sure to get it. I'm just hungry. There's a car in front of us. And he's got uh, 
on his mirror, he's got all these uh, masks, like he's a doctor. Medical masks. And he's driving a, what's that thing? Well, it's got the circle and then the, the line and then the two lines. Toyota. The, Toyota. He's got a Toyota driving a Toyota. So you know he's got money. It's one of the newer models. I wonder what he's ordering. Go somewhere nice for, for lunch if you're a doctor. Go to uh, Chili's. Outback. Mm -hmm. Chili's. You know, don't don't condense the drive through area. We're trying to mukbang. I would just have a little more consideration for people. That's all I'm saying. Well, it was my fault because I had to sit back there and get my phone ready, you know, put it on record and all that. And there was nobody here when we first got here. And, and I did all that, and guess what? Three people pulled As we were putting the phone up, up there to record, guess what? <laughs> Four cars in front of us. I said, you got to be kidding me. But they make everything fresh, so. Right. It says that we cook everything fresh. Well, it better be, or I'm coming back. I'll tell you that much. Oh, look, they're giving that guy his thing. <clears throat> oh, and if y'all are new around here, tomorrow, we're both, but I got a show in Louisville, Kentucky. Tour starts tomorrow, baby. Louisville, Buffalo, New York. What's the Canada place we're going? Uh, Canada. We're doing a show in Canada. Toronto. Toronto. And we will be doing an international mukbang there. We are going international. Where else we got? We got some Ohio show. We got a bunch of shows. That's if they let us in, in Canada. You don't know. Right. Because they got a pretty rigorous system when you drive up so come see us tour starts tomorrow get your tickets at eatmytrash.com not eatmyass.com that's another website that does not belong to us i don't know who owns that it should though eat my trash all right that's the same fella mm -hmm. he's cooking and taking orders yeah he's he's double busy dang he's working <laughs> double busy if i had cash i'd give him my Tip, but I ain't got no cash either. Sign up, please. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I have a tip. Yet. Yeah, it says you can add a tip. Give him ten bucks. Oh damn! All right. He's in there working hard. Hell yeah! In that little hot shack. And this place is very little. Very little. Probably no air conditioning or nothing. Don't show your card number. I won't. There's nobody stealing your identity and stealing all your money in there. I know some of y'all look out for that. Most of y'all are good people. But I know some of y'all are lurking. Waiting on a little card number to take a screenshot and go buy Amazon shit with it. We're not dumb. I'll tell you that much. And you can't use it because I haven't signed the back of it. Right. It says not valid unless signed. Well, guess what? It didn't sign it. We never sign our cards. Ever. Ever. Anytime they try to, my bank calls me and says, we got a fraudulent thing. I say, I didn't sign it. Right. Exactly. Just a little way to protect yourself. If needed. From scammers and stuff. Oh, man. That, it is tiny in there. And it looks dark. I wonder if the, if the burger comes with mayonnaise, mustard, or ketchup. I didn't ask. He just said everything. What if everything is only an onion? That's it. Then he tricked us. And I will be having a problem about that. Don't try to trick us on our mukbangs. Don't. Does the camera look good to you? Mm-hmm. Okay. It looks a little slanted, maybe. Thought I was tripping. But it looks pretty good. As long as people can see, they don't care. Yeah. Now, that looks slanted. That looks crooked. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put it back. That looks good. That's even. That's even. I look tiny and small over here, though, don't well, I? Well, because I'm a big bitch. <laughs> well, not. I think it's just the angle, because I look like a child. Yeah. Yeah. That just lost a tooth. Did the tooth fairy come? 
No, she didn't. She ended up costing me eight hundred dollars. Get it pulled out and get that fake tooth. Everybody knows I have a, a, the fake tooth, but I can't eat in it, so I just don't even put it in. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to get it chipped again. I think I look cool. I look like a ruffian. All right. So I see our bag there. It's got two containers in it, probably with our burgers in it. And I bet he's making the shakes. Damn, he's working it up in there. Is there anybody behind us? Nope. So he is, he is, 100% of attention is on our food, which is great. Which is great. So the man was cooking someone else's food. Run outside, get our order, run back inside, cook. Here's what I imagine he did. He put the meat on the grill and was going to let it set for a minute and went and got our order, came back, flipped it. Damn. Yeah. That's why he deserves it. Not only $10, but more than $10. $10 tip right there. The To have the wherewithal to be able to take an order and cook at the same time and calculate how much time he needed. to, Because he didn't know how long we were going to sit here and say our order. We could have talked for 20 minutes. Yep. He would have said, excuse me, I have to go back in and flip this burger. I salute him. We could have been ordering. We could order triple the amount. Here we go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell. Which one is this? Chocolate chip. My malt, baby. Yes. All right. Malt licky. Mint chip. Right, he's getting our, he's getting our uh, soda pops. Where the hell are we gonna put all these drinks? Crystal and I were just talking. Why do they call them soft drinks? If they're soft drinks, what's hard drinks? And I never heard somebody say, "What kind of hard drinks do you serve?" It's always soft drinks. It's just such a weird thing that I've never even thought about. And who was the motherfucker that said, hey, let's call them soft drinks. And who was the idiot that agreed to it? Mm -hmm. Who agreed to that? And why do we still keep doing it? Just dumb. Probably some men that were in charge of something. Yeah. Diet. All right. There's your diet. I'm going to stick her right here. Regular. Pepsi. Regular. Sauce or, ketchup. Sauce or ketchup. ketchup? Can we get ketchup and maybe what, what else should we get? We got the cheese sticks. They got marinara. You got some marinara's in there? Yeah. Throw one of those. Throw a couple of those in. Yeah. Hell yeah. Woohoo! Whoa. Hey, thank you. What was your name? What's that? What was your name? Kareem. Kareem, thank you. We'll be seeing you next time. Bye. He was really cute. He was. He looked scared of me. <laughs> he looked terrified when I asked what his name was. <laughs> he thought she was going to report him to the supervisor. Right. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to park right up here in the shade. That's a no frills kind of building. Oh, exactly. They got the same idea parking over here in the shade. I'm parking right here, baby. They got chef's quality ketchup in the back of that car. That must be Kareem's car. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try my malt first. Malt. Malt leaky, baby. Okay. Here's my malt. Oh, it's got the bend on it. Mm. Damn. That's good. Mm. Mm. Mine's mint chip, which I don't care. I love it. You thought it could be regular? Yep. I love it. Let me try my Pepsi. That's good. You are going to love these marinaires. 
Look how cute they are. And, and that's a lot. They give you a lot. That's good. And we got two of them. What's in here? The cheese sticks. One for each of us so we don't have to double dip. Okay. One platter. Oh, these are stuck together. What the hell? Be careful with my platter. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we got the same thing, didn't we? Food that comes in styrofoam is just better. And wrapped up in a, in a, in a paper thing. Should we try the uh, cheese sticks first? Let's do it. All right, I'm going to take one of these cheese sticks. Okay. Mm. okay. I know that thing is deep fried. I'm going to try it without the sauce first. Good. Here we go. Mm. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Mmm. 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 Damn. Flavorful. Mm-hmm. The cheat. Oh, this marinara smells good. This is the good shit. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Damn. You know how some marinara is disgusting? Mm -hmm. This is good, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm. 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 Off to a good start, baby. Whoa! Wow. And... Damn. There's nothing like fried cheese. You know? You mm. put batter on something and put it in a deep fryer, I'll eat it. I don't give a damn. Mmm. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. I'd come back. I come back and get these in a heartbeat. That's the thing. Fat people know how to cook. Mm-hmm. You got a place called Fat Mo's. It's gonna be good. That's actually true. What if? Wow. We just got played. Uh-oh. What if that was Fat Mo? But he don't want people to know he's skinny. Because he lost weight? Because if people thought knew he was skinny, they wouldn't think he cooked good food. That's why he got scared when you said, what's your name? And he was yes. And made something up. Calling himself Kareem. When his name's Mo. We're not stupid. My first review of this place is I love these bendy straws. Yeah. Very gas station y. And you love a gas station. Mmm. Because you can hold your drink. Well, shit, the damn thing's already bent. You can hold it right here and still drink. Mm hmm. Right. You don't have to do this over it. You can do it from back here. Mmm. There's a big iceberg in there. Should we answer a question before we, uh... Let's do it. Let's see here. Uh-oh, they gave us an uneven amount of cheese sticks. You can you can have that last one. Why don't we split it? Okay, let's split it. All right. Let's see here. Everybody's wanting to know. Everybody, you want to ask this? I got my full food. Tammy, Crystal, what's the status on Rodney? Hell, he, he might show up on an episode of Dateline for all we know. That motherfucker went M-I-A. As he should. And I know his mom's protecting him. And if I get a hold of her little old ass, I'm beating it. And I know you don't want me to because your family, I'm going to get arrested and all that, but... Something's got to be done. He's never be heard of again. I bet he changed his whole look. Probably shaved his mustache off. Dyed his hair blonde. 
put a shirt on because he never did wear a shirt. Mm -mm. You put a shirt on, you can't even recognize him. Mm -hmm. Always without a shirt. And I want to thank y'all because I get DMs all the time on Instagram and TikTok, especially on the comments. And they'll say, Tammy, I just want to let y'all know we are we have our eyes peeled for Rodney. Uh oh. Is oh, they the get it. Oh, no, I, I, it, it was a truck coming up behind us. I couldn't know that. It's okay. That was the police. People always say, I got my eyes peeled for Rodney. I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him for y'all. Or they'll send in tips. They'll say, Tammy, I thought I saw Rodney at down at the gas station mm -hmm. on down there on ninth. So thank y'all. Ever diligent. Always keep the tips coming because I'm telling you right now, we're still looking for him. And when I find him, I'm beating his ass. Mm -hmm. mm. They should probably do an Unsolved Mysteries on him with Robert Stack. And apparently you can't say nowadays that you're going to whoop somebody's ass on TikTok. Because I posted the Rodney video because we're still looking for him. It got taken down for bullying. Bully this. Mm. Bully that. TikTok. And who really got bullied? It was me, not him. Right. He's the one that started this shit. Okay, I'm going to try this French fry here. Let's take a thumbnail. Too. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Got it. All right, I'm going to try this French fry. I'm going to tap it so you guys can see. Mm. Mm. Those are good. Mm -hmm. mm, dip it in the marinara. Mmm. Uh -huh. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. They didn't give us too many ketchups, only a couple. You go ahead. Do you want some? Nope. some more in there. I'm going to dig into this burger. These fries are delicious. Seasoned. Seasoned and delicious. And we got many more uh, questions. Don't think we're just going to ask one. Look juicy. That's, that's heavy. It's a big, big burger. Let's see what's got on there. Sesame seed bun, pickles, mayonnaise, tomato, cheese, would you look at the cheese, though? It's smaller than that thing. Look at the beef patty, and then look at the cheese patty. The cheese <laughs> patty's that big. <laughs> it's probably a regular size crap single, but the burger's so damn big. And you got mustard, ketchup, onions, lettuce. It's got everything on there. It's <laughs> the smallest cheese sauce. I will say this. Next time, if I, if I come back, I'm going to say, put on six extra slices of cheese on there. <laughs> or one full piece. Damn, dude. Don't cut it in half, Kareem. This is a big, big burger, damn. How are you going to eat this? Damn. Okay. Ready? Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. 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 I don't know how anybody can be vegan when there's this. Mmm. Mmm. That's a burger. This is fucking good. I don't know what else to say. It's fucking good. I mean, oh man. It just goes mm. to show you can't judge a book by cover. Mm. You look at that place, you think that that place got roaches. Mm -hmm. And it probably does. <laughs> and you eat this, change your life. Mm. The the bread, salt, an onion, the pickle. My only complaint is I would like a couple more slices of cheese. That would make this a perfect 10. Mm. 
Mmm. Shoot, I'd eat it without a cheese. I don't even care. This thing is good. Mmm. Damn. Mm hmm. Fat Mo's got me fucked up. In yeah. a good way. I want to come back and get the, uh, what I said I was going to try? The cat. Let's come back and try the cat. <laughs> they have jalapeno poppers I want to try. Mm. They got fried mushrooms. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> you want to answer another question? Mm -hmm. I can't get enough of this burger, though. Damn, dude. For real. Okay. Crystal. Tammy. If you had an intro song that played every time you walked into a room, what would it be? Ooh. Hmm. Oh, man. So many. But I think... I'm going to think I'm... I'm going to keep it with my intro song to shows. Because that song gets me pumped. And it's very me. And when I walk into a room, I want to start jamming. Mm -hmm. So if mine's going to be Man in the Box by Alice in Chains. I'm the man in the box. Yep. Shit, that's hard. I want to come in with the bang too, but I feel like... You remember that song, Chariots of Fire? Mm-mm. There was a movie in the 80s about running or something. And they was running on the beach and it was going, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Do, That's a song. Do, 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 do. It's called Chariots of Fire? Yeah. Okay. And it, I would have to walk out in slow motion. Mm -hmm. Because you can't walk in regular speed to that song. You'd mm -hmm. have to be like, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. So much. And waving like. Crystal, that's a good one. That's a good one. Mm. Lots of people ain't gonna know what Chariot to Fire is. I don't know how you know that. I'm old. All right, let's do this. Damn, I got a bite on here that was so seasoned and delicious. Fuck. Ooh, this is a great question. <clears throat> it's gonna be hard to answer. <clears throat> Crystal, Tammy. Dream location for an international mukbang. Mm. What do you order? Mm. Well, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot more international mukbangs. We've got a show in Canada. We're going to be doing one there. Where should we mukbang in Toronto? And number two, we're going to be going to the Bahamas. Where should we mukbang there? I'm saying we need to try the local foods. The local drive throughs the local fair is what they call it. I don't know why they call food fair, but that's a whole, that's another subject. I want to try, I don't want to go to Bahamas and go through a McDonald's drive through Hell, I can do that right next door. Right. So we're going to rely on y'all's help to tell us. Toronto. What's a good local Canadian fast food or what do y'all eat there? I know y'all eat poutine. That's one that they eat. Poon what? Gravy covered fries. I know that. Poutine. Called poutine. That sounds naughty. Mmm. So we will have to go try that. I think my idea would be somewhere like... Paris, France. Yeah. And 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 do like a baguette uh buck bike. Baguette or a croissant. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else they do there. Mm. I think that's it. Croissant is what they say. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well French, they have French fries there too. Yep. But that's a conspiracy because I think we invented French fries, not the French. Hmm. Mm. mm. Mmm! It 
What's the paper, the wax paper around there for me? Is that wax paper or just paper paper? Damn, that's good. Mm -hmm. mm. And the shake just sets it over the top. Mm. What if we get to Canada and they have different money and then we can't do an international mukbang? Oh, no. I didn't think about that. Shit. Oh, no. You have to look that up later. See if they have different money. Well, what do we do? I think you have to go to the bank and give them some of your money and then they give you some of their money. And... Man! I ain't got time for that. What the hell? That's why you need an assistant. I keep telling her, you need an assistant. Do I it. do. To do things like that for me. You know, I gotta get prepared for the show. I can't be going to the bank. And you might be saying, well, why don't you do it, Crystal? Because I'm trying to sell merch. And I can't sell the regular merch with the regular merch girl. Because my merch is what's considered, you know, off market. Mm -hmm. So it's stuff that I've made, little mm -hmm. uh, crocheted things and stuff, and it don't really have nothing to do with Tammy. Right. But it's I'm considering it mer tour merch. She's opening a booth at the yeah. So I have little uh, Kleenex covers. You know, you put them over to the thing, and you, I've crocheted them, and they're really beautiful. And one of my favorite things that I sell is a, it looks like a little doll, and the dress part of the doll covers a, a roll of toilet paper. So you can set it on your sink, and it looks fancy like a doll, but you lift it up, guess what? Extra roll, roll of toilet paper. So clever. So clever. Only she would think of something like that. Mm -hmm. So don't come looking for me. In the, in the venue, because I ain't in there. Usually around the back, there's like an alley yep. or a sidewalk. Because they won't let me sell on property. Tax purposes or whatever. So I told her, I go, just go prop up a table in the back alley. <clears throat> and yeah, it says Tammy's Merch on it, but it ain't got nothing to do with Tammy. But no. I, she lets me do that for clout. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mmm. Mmm. And I said, did Tammy Crow say this? Sometimes I lie and say yes. But if I don't. I, if I feel like they're going to buy it. $54 for a crocheted toilet roll cover? Yes. You been a Hobby Lobby lately? You seen the yarn prices? Mm -hmm. And the time and energy I put into crocheting is really invaluable. Oh, it takes you weeks to do one. Mmm. Mmm. That is really delicious. Highly recommend Moe's. Crystal, I don't know what I was expecting. This wasn't it. Mm. This wasn't it. It's the first time ever I've not been able to finish a burger. But I definitely want to go international mukbang in Europe. Paris, Italy, places like that. That's my dream. <laughs> Ooh. What about like an olive garden in Italy? Oh, yeah. Get the tour of Italy in Italy. Mm -hmm. That's smart. That'd probably be good. I love a big soda. You want to answer another question? Let's do one more. Whoever asked this, Aaron, is a great question. Crystal, Tammy, do you believe in time traveling? <sighs> Shit. You want to go first? You go ahead. Here's my thing. I don't not believe in it. 
I don't not believe in things that people think is wild. Oh, Bigfoot don't exist because I've never seen him. You sure about that? Oh, time traveling doesn't doesn't exist because I've never time traveled. Speak for yourself. Mm-hmm. Speak for yourself. Ever seen Back to the Future? They made a movie about it. You want to tell me it's not real? You're telling me Marty McFly didn't go back into the past and fall in love with his mother or his mom fall in love with him? That's a true story. And then the rest of his family started disappearing off a photograph because he wasn't supposed to be there. And he had to fix everything. Think about that. You think somebody just thought that up? I that could, happened. I couldn't have thought that up. Now listen. I have personally never time traveled yet. But given the opportunity, I'm going to go... I'm going to go see what's up in another realm. Absolutely. Another realm. I like that. Because <laughs> there ain't just one realm in the world. There's millions. And I'm going to go see them. What time realm would you go to? Oh, man. I'd let it pick for me. I don't even... I don't even care. You know? You know what would be... A, you know what would be... What I'd be pissed at, though? Hmm. If, say, it's 2023... And I was like, oh, just pick for me. And they took me back to 2022. And you're like, damn, I just got out of here. I'd be so fucking mad. I want to go someplace cool. Take me to the mummy days. Take me to, uh, uh, I can't think of anything else, but you know what I mean? Like, I want to see some shit. That's the thing. You gotta be careful with time travel. You have to have an outfit ready. Because mm-hmm. you show up in a, in your regular cami clothes, they're gonna burn you at the stake. This ain't gonna do it. They're gonna say she's a, a witch or a time traveler. This ain't gonna do it. They're not gonna be able to understand how I got wolves on a piece of cloth. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna be able to understand that. Because what they do is they take wolf skin and make clothing out of it. Not a picture of... Uh-oh. Do I oh, need Lord. No, no. He's getting he's getting his most. I'm kind of in the middle of the, of the alleyway as well. <laughs> Y'all can't see that. I always want to go back to the time because, you know, one of my favorite shows is Outlander. I want to go back to Outlander times. But I, my biggest thing is, is they're going to be stinky. Very stinky. They don't have showers. And on the show, I've never even seen him take a bath. So. That's something I'm not going to be able to handle. Because if I'm around somebody and their breath stinks, or I can smell their holes, mm-hmm. what do I do? Puke. Gag. What do I do right before that? I usually punch them in the fucking face. Oh, yeah. And say, go get some soap and clean your damn hole. Nobody wants to smell other people's holes. At least people they don't know. Unless you love them. Right. If you love somebody, then you can tolerate a hole smell. God. Oh. Crystal, we got to come back to Moe's. 10 and out I, of 10. And I'm not kidding. Next time we come, I'm getting a burger, and I'm literally going to ask for six slices of cheese. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> And Kareem's going to say, ma'am, that's too much damn cheese. I'll say, all right, okay, three. You say, make your cheese bigger than the slice of a, the size of a stamp. God. Mmm. I thought I want more cheese sticks, too. But I'll wait till next time. Well, thanks for joining us here today, live on Crystal's Food Reviews and other things. And everybody give a shout out to Tammy. Thanks for having me. And go follow her channel and everything, her Instagram and all that. And uh, well, we're gonna be p- posting more mukbangs because we're going on tour. We're gonna be together every day, so we're gonna be mukbanging and you know doing food reviews and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, so stay, stay tuned, and remember, be blessed, be as blessed as you can be. Bye, bye, bye. Can we push it? Yeah, go ahead and push it.